Hello, hello. My title of this research is the relationship of boundary reality and speculation in property market. So my name is Yong Jian, and let us begin. And if you're unfamiliar with the terms boundary reality, Herbert A. Simon came up with this idea of how decision making is bounded by limited information, limited quality ability, and lack of time. So if you want to make a best decision out of all, we need lots of information and time. To consider the best decision. So, does today bubble ever ring a bell to you? How about Bitcoin? What do they have in common? Is both of them are speculative bubble. The term property bubble means continuous increase of property price in future, ignoring the risk of property bubble to fall at any time. Case and Shida says that this is a problem for a young people like us because. Uh, due to increase of property price, we can't afford housing later on in life. So basically, these are a few researchers that I refer to, such as Holt and Zainal, and other like, other researchers like Goldstein, to help me came up with a concept in this research paper. So my research methodology is very simple. At first, I will select. And search for related related uh, journal articles to came up to find all the information, and then I came up with my own questionnaires based on previous research, and I distribute my questionnaires to to the public to everyone using a sample using a simple sample methodology. And then I analyze them my data using some related to, to like man being tests, and then I came up with a theoretical framework, which uh, link every single every single variables, which started from a limited human capacity and capacity of real world, and the and ends up with speculation that causes property bubble. So in conclusion. With this research, I hope that it can bring a benefits to the industry, to the regulators such as banks and government, and the future researchers, so that they can take my research. Very and hopefully, concept. my research paper will achieve my research aim, which is to find the relationship between bounded rationality and speculation in property market. And thank you so much for watching my three minutes webinar. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay awesome, guys. Thank you.